give it to God. Be back in the house of the Lord. I thank God for his blessings. I thank God for being here. Thank God for my wife. Thank God for my pastor and Superintendent Roy Riley Senior. And his wife, missionary, Missy White Riley. And I just thank God for those that are here today. God is worthy to be praised. And on the prayer, Lord Jesus, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you for your people today. We thank you for everything you've done over. Lord, you've been mighty good. And I just thank you for all you've done, oh God. Thank you for your strength. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you for joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord. And it says, And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit of life, life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead, from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Christ from the dead shall quicken your mortal body by his spirit dwell in you. Therefore, brother, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. For if we live after the flesh, ye shall die. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. Praise God, I thank God for his word. And I was thinking by the word, uh, a subject that I, that I talked about, I read, preached to them. It was a long time ago. And it said, we are debtors. Not to the flesh, but we are debtors to the cross of Christ. We are to walk upright, praise the Lord, before the Lord. Verse 1, it says, chapter of Romans tells us that there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but the spirit. Yes, we do live in the flesh, and because of sin, that we are born in, because of Adam and Eve, every man, that includes women, children, all men, Sin they pass is passed down because of their disobedience. God told them they would die. Not just a physical, but also a spiritual as well. Separation from God. A thing that can only be fixed with a sacrifice. A sinless, a pure sacrifice. Jesus was that sacrifice that came to be born, not from a man as you and I are, but Mary, the angel of the Lord, told her 
She is highly favored. Praise the Lord. She was overshadowed by the Holy Ghost. So he was not born by the curse of sin since no man had touched her. And that's the only miracle of his kind. Joseph, when he thought to do away with her, the angel told him that which in her is of, is of the Holy Ghost. Matthew 1 and 21 says, She shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus said in John 3, 6, 3 and 5, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter to the kingdom of God. Romans 10 and 9 says, If you confess with your mouth in the heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Lord, we would think about praise the Lord, his blessings. Praise the Lord that God has to, has uh, spared us. Praise the Lord, gave us an opportunity in this life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord to accept Christ for his as a Savior. You say he died for our sins. Praise the Lord that we might have a right to the tree of life. And Jesus said you must be born again. Praise the Lord. That's what he told Nicodemus. You must be born again. All the sin that a person has been born with or commits. Praise the Lord. It don't matter what you claim that if you were born that way. You might have seen that say that it was a mistake. But Jesus said you must be born again. Not by as, as you're born out of the womb from a mother. But in the spirit, inside, the soul and spirit must praise the Lord, get another con con uh, connection with God. And therefore, when you accept Christ as your Savior, the Jesus just said, that self a man be born of the water of the Spirit, it take the Spirit of God to, to, uh, to cleanse you, to forgive you, to give you the mind to want to be saved. It's the blood that cleanses you, right? But the Spirit of God, praise the Lord, leads you to repentance to accept the Christ as your Savior. Praise the Lord. And he feeds you, praise the Lord, forward. Uh, let's see. And 4, 16 said, this I, this I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. These are contrary one to another, so, it, so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law. So therefore, praise the Lord, he letting us know, praise God, that uh, you are walking in the spirit. You're led by the Spirit. Praise the Lord. We still daily, whether we give our lives to the Lord with the flesh yet wants you to do wrong. It wants you to do what pleases itself. But if you live led by the Spirit, it says you wouldn't do the thing that you would. Praise the Lord because the Spirit of God rests in you. And the Spirit of God leads you and teaches you to obey God, to do what God said. And praise the Lord. Therefore, you won't be subject to the law, to the, to, to the bondage of sin. Praise the Lord. And then praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Then it tells us that in Ephesians 4 and 22. It says. That you put off concern in the former government conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Praise the Lord, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. 
that you put on the new man, which after God is created in created created in righteousness and true holiness. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wherefore putting away lies, every man true with his neighbor. Praise the Lord, for we are members one of another. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Let love him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that need it. Let no corrupt communication perceive out of thy mouth. But thou switchest that which is good to the use of edifying that it may minister grace unto the hearers and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God whereby ye are sealed unto the day of, rede of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all matters. Be kind one to another tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. Jesus set up the life that a man that accept Christ could live according to his word, could live according to the blessings that God has, has spared him, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. And Jesus, and the Bible tells us, praise the Lord, not Jesus, but the, the, the Bible tells us in Corinthians, praise the Lord, praise God, 2 and 9, praise the Lord. He said, what is it written? Every eye shall see, if, if I have not seen, and the ears have not heard, Neither have it entered to the heart of man the things which God has prepared for man. The things which God has prepared for them that love him. Praise the Lord. But God has revealed them unto us by the Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things? Praise the Lord. Things of man save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man but the spirit of God, praise God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given, which things also we speak, not in the words which the man wisdom teaches. But with the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritually judges all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him that we have the mind of Christ. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I thank God for his blessings. Hallelujah. Praise God. And he tells us, praise the Lord. The man, man, Matthew. Praise the Lord. 12 and 36. Praise the Lord telling us, but, but I say unto you that every idle word that a man may speak, praise the Lord, shall they give an account there of the day of judgment. We think about the things that man in this world, they think they have, they make an excuse of the things that they do. And they ain't trying to say, I, 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 I can't do it. I, uh, 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 there's nothing I can do, it's, it's hopeless. But it tells us, praise the Lord, that every man, every, every idle word that a man has to give an account of the things that are done in their body. Praise the Lord. It tells us that we must appear for those who 
that the man must appear before the judgment seat of Christ. Praise the Lord to give account for every deed. Whether they be good, the things that are done in this body, whether it be good or bad, must give an account of those things. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. But ye are not debtors to the flesh. Praise the Lord. People that are doing anything they want to do. Heeding to the desires, praise the Lord, of the flesh. Praise the Lord. Self won't praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. In the eighth chapter here of Romans 16 to 17. It says here, children, they are not hires. O oh God, join hires with Christ. Praise the Lord. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified. For I reckon that the suffer of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. One thing about it. Hallelujah. Praise God. We belong to the Lord. And we all, you know, it, it, it's in some, some aspect, we are responsible for one another. We are also responsible for the way that one treats one another. And we are also responsible, praise the Lord, to help I brought those that don't know the Lord to, to see, to be able to see that Christ died for their sins. And one day the Lord is coming back, praise the Lord. He's coming back, praise the Lord, for a church without spot or wrinkle or blemish. Praise God. And right now, praise the Lord, we look at this time that the people are panicking and all the things that are going on, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, people are wondering what to do, praise the Lord. What's the answer to the problem? The only problem answer to the problem is Christ, praise the Lord. And praise the Lord, if people realize the work. I heard all the sayings about black models, black, uh, uh, black models, uh, black lives matter, all lives matter. And I've heard all the things that people have seen. Praise the Lord. But the devil don't care about none of us. Praise the Lord. He decides for man. Praise the Lord. Praise God. He decides for man to be destroyed. And you can just understand that God has made a way of escape. Praise the Lord. This world is in a terrible situation because of sin. And praise God, all God wants people to do is to accept Him as His Savior and believe on the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Give all your troubles and problems to the Lord. Hallelujah. And let Him help you. Praise the Lord. Let Him be your God. Praise the Lord. What you have to live right. That will tell us that we don't need to praise the Lord to live after the flesh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And as that verse says, if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit of life because of righteousness. But if the spirit of him that raised up Jesus from the dead dwell in you. He that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mind about mortal body, the spirit that dwells in you. Therefore, the brother, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live out the flesh. If we live out the flesh, ye shall also die. But if through the spirit do mortify the deeds done in the body, Hallelujah. Thank God for being alive today. Hallelujah. I'm not just talking about natural 
so what spirit is so praise the Lord you have the Lord down in your soul the Lord deal with you one on one in one day one time they had to go to the priest for the be forgiven you might have had to walk from here to New York City just to praise the Lord get a slack to be forgiven, praise Lord. But now all you have to do that Jesus died for your sins. All you have to do is ask the Lord, Lord, forgive me for my sins. I'm sorry, Lord. I want you to be my Savior, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the Spirit of God will lead you in the right way of the direction to live. Hallelujah. What you shall do and not do, praise the Lord. But we don't live under law anymore, praise the Lord. But we praise the Lord, we live under grace. And grace out for you the ability, praise the Lord, to say, Lord, forgive me. You have the right to be free from the bondage of sin. And then you have the power, the power to make decisions, to make decisions living for the Lord. Make decisions for based on what God said, what God want me to do, praise the Lord. Because I'm dead up to the Lord. I belong to the Lord. And praise God and tell the living children they're in a high and joint high with Christ. It's so also that we suffer with him, that we shall also be glorified together. Hallelujah. I hear people talk about the Lord coming. Hallelujah. Yes, he's coming. But he's coming for those that are living right. Praise the Lord. And what a glorious time. You can imagine in my mind, your mind. It said, I have not seen. Ears have not heard. Neither have I entered to the heart of man. One day he's coming back, praise the Lord. He's coming back for a church without a spot or wrinkle, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. It said that a, 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 a trump of God will sound with the voice of an archangel and the dead in Christ shall rise first and he that will remain. That means all that are alive. He that remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air. You're talking about a glorious time. You're talking about a wonderful time. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody said, if all these troubles is going on now, but if you're discouraged, if you're amazed, if some of the things that are happening, Which in the book of life, 
and the dead was judged out of the things which were in them. Hallelujah, according to their works, the sea gave up the dead which are in it, praise the Lord. The death in hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. And death in hell was cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So every name who was not found in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. I come to let you know that's a day everybody got to go. Every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Whether you want to believe it or not, you ain't got to believe it. You can throw your nose up and say, I'm going to do what I want to do. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. the dead. I remember praise the Lord. Still about praise the Lord the Titanic. And praise the Lord the Titanic was supposed to be unsinkable. Hallelujah. But one day when they were going praise the Lord they didn't realize that praise the Lord they didn't know what they were talking about. But when they went through they went to an iceberg and praise the Lord Still bottom of it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's true, the ship began to sink. Praise the Lord, the one that went down. There were thousands that died that day. There was a few that survived. But there were a lot of that lost their life that day. And it said the sea gave up the dead. Put your in it, praise the Lord. I want to let you know. this life by myself. No man can do it by himself. You can't do it by yourself. You can't make it without you by yourself. Just self trying to live is righteous. Righteousness is not going to save you. But the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanse you from the blood of your sin. And the spirit of God that keep you and help you and lead you and guide you. It's the only way Stay saved, that you can be dead as reading your word, fasting and praying. Hallelujah is the only way you can make it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we must realize. Praise the Lord. That all we try to do. And praise the Lord. When you first get saved, you obtain eternal life. But praise the Lord, you got to make it to the end. And so when you give your life to the Lord and ask Him to save you, you believe His word. And I praise the Lord, this is not a sprint. Oh, we all, when we first get saved, oh, we're so excited. We want the whole world to be saved. We just want to make it, almost make it. Come on and get this thing, it's so good. But it's just the start. You got to maintain, you got to continue this thing steady. Praise the Lord. You got to keep on holding up your life, believing in God. And He's going to keep you. Praise the Lord. And you won't go back for the Lord. So I thank God for his blessings. I thank God for you. You don't know the Lord. Praise the Lord. If you maybe felt you know the new the Lord and you're not sure, praise the Lord. Now's the time. You can ask the Lord to forgive you. All you have to do is say, Lord, 
forgive me for my sin. I'm sorry. I want you to come into my life. I want you to be my Savior. And you have to read this word. And you have to praise the Lord. And be led by the Spirit of God. Don't allow the flesh to make you a dead to it. But you want to be dead to the Christ. To Christ. Thank God for his blessing. Thank God for you. I'm going to pray, praise the Lord for you. Lord Jesus, those that are here, praise the Lord. I want you to bless. Touch an old car. Mind an old car. Praise the Lord. All what you do for Christ is going to bless. When they get a lie to you, to you, praise the Lord, that you're a healer and you're a saint and you're a king. Just stay home. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you for everything you've done on the Lord. Amen. Amen. There's not a friend. service and we ask that you would like our Facebook page as well as subscribe to Jerusalem Temple's YouTube channel. If any of our services have been a blessing to you, we ask that you would be a blessing to this ministry. You may give your tax deductible contribution by one of these methods. Through Givelify, simply looking up Jerusalem Temple, Church of God in Christ in Leland, Mississippi, PayPal, or you may mail your check payable to Jerusalem Temple at P.O. Box 329, Leland, Mississippi, 38756. That address again is P.O. Box 329, Leland, Mississippi, 38756. We definitely want to stay connected with you. Continue to visit Jerusalem Temple's page for updates, weekly Bible studies, prayer calls, and all services. Thank you and God bless.